Hey guys, Test Sniper one here. Today you join me back with a bit of Skyrim. Now I've heard a little bit of interesting stuff about a cave over here. So uh yeah. Let us go and have a gander. I do believe we are going to be getting ourselves a nice bow from here. So let us find the entrance to said cave. Here it is. Gearman's Hall. So let's uh, get into Snake and let's uh, crack on. So there shouldn't be too many tough enemies in here, I do believe. From what I can gather, there's a couple of skeevers down here somewhere. Yep, yeah, there we go. Detected straight away. Not that it matters, they're uh, pretty easy enemies. What we need to do is jump down this hole here. Splish. Now, there is a treasure chest down here. <coughs> So let's quickly swim around, take pick up this soul gem on the way. Ha! Ah, gold and an iron great sword, that's a bit boring. Very learn. We'll grab the bit of gold from here and Right, let's proceed. Into Oh my god, the spiders. Okay, I wasn't expecting them spiders. So there's a locked iron door here, let's uh, see if we can unlock it. Oh, it's not often a break a lock pick. There we go, easy. Anything interesting in here? Oh, that'll be handy, potion of minor healing. Mm, not really interested in that iron helmet for myself, but might be worth picking up depending on your character build. Let's proceed a bit further into this barrow. Trap plate there, which I would assume will set off them arrows at either side of us. Yep. Does look like we have a puzzle coming up. So we shall just take notice of that bird, dolphin and snake and dolphin. Hello, I can see you sleeping there. Is there any more of you around here? Yes, there is. Oh, missed him. Yep, he knows I'm here. As does his few friends. Take him down. At least we'll get some uh, nice, tasty Nordic arrows from here. Wow, oh, yeah, look at that. That was awesome, so we're not really interested in the swords, but we'll have the gold and the arrows. Ooh, we'll have that sapphire necklace, that'll definitely come in handy. Arrows, as always, and try and collect up some of our arrows that we had. Cool, cool, cool. We'll have that soldier. Oh, oh wow, if we stood a little bit further over that way, that would have hurt. So, if we activate that lever, we shall stand back. Nope. So, like I said, there's a puzzle here. So, we want an eagle, dolphin, dolphin, snake. So, we'll try eagle, dolphin, dolphin, snake. Nope. So let's try snake. We'll leave them two as dolphins and put this one as an eagle. Nope. So we'll try you as a dolphin. Try you as a snack. Leave you as a dolphin. We'll try you as an ego. <coughs> there we go. 
At least that wasn't too barry. Oh, hello, Mr. Draga. I didn't quite see you there. Oh, oh my god, there's a few of them. Come on, then. Pretty sure there's another one up there, but we shall search his buddies first. Reanimate corpse. That sounds interesting. So, iron arrow and some gold. A couple of room books. Don't think there's much else down here. Potion of stamina, some leather strips. No treasure chests around here. Ooh. We'll have that Arkish arrow though, that's nice. Only the one though, which is a bit of a shame. I definitely heard a Draga. Where the hell is it? Oh. Hello. Come on then. We shall have you, mate. He's fallen over. So we can't finish him off right now, but anyway. Look, here's Germund's epitaph. Lord Germund, Archmage of Windhelm, Lord Battlemage to King Harold. Magus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By these seals our realm preserved from traitors three and their charm of strife. We shall take that. We shall take his key. And this is him as as himself. Look, he's a bit dead. Ah, uh, look, we can finish that Draga up now. We've actually uh, knocked him right off the back there. So we'll take that iron arrow. I think this... No, that wasn't him. There he is. We'll have his arrows and uh, one of our arrows back. Right. Let's proceed deeper into this uh, vault. It's not a vault. He just randomly spawned, which was a bit odd. But getting polished off. He managed to get a hit on us. Which is a little bit surprising, but yeah. Let's take these goodies. What we've got, I'm not really interested in steel battle axe. We'll just throw it down there. What's up here? A little uh, peek through into what I assume is the next area. Anyway. What? Where the hell did you come from? Random kill cam. Fair enough. Anything interesting taking on these shelves? No, just a bunch of room books. Nothing up that way. So let's proceed around this way. Now I believe this is going to take us up where that guy was. I can hear a Draga. Get a couple of decent attacks in on him before he uh, gives us a quick slap. Anything exciting over here? No. A couple of set of leather boots, which are a bit useless for this character, really. Wow. So I don't believe that's quite our lever for uh, dropping them. I have a feeling this is there. <laughs> So what did he have? An ancient nard bow. It's not really interesting to us. Oh, hello! What, you just randomly got a bow and arrow? We'll have to take a, an arrow to the face there, unfortunately. Not really much choice. Getting plenty of nardy arrows though. What's over here? Nothing that exciting. I can definitely hear a trap though. We'll let him run towards us. Yep, thank you, trap. Ow. I pressed the uh, walk button rather than the run button. Not used to... Uh, I can't remember what it is. I'll be in the uh, sprint button. Oh, I forgot to loot his corpse. 
Uh, ooh, a garnet in the gold and an arrow. Handy, 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 handy. Right then. I have a funny feeling we've got a boss battle coming up here. If I remember rightly. That's where we were looking through earlier. I do believe we've got to fight three enemies here. He teleports every so often as well. Let's get rid of his puddy over the back there. We shall remain up here because this is a bit of a decent place to defend ourselves from unless he spawns behind us. Should really uh, drop off the good old iron arrows. Well, we've nearly got rid of this guy. Oh, yeah, critical strike helped. We'll get rid of his couple of uh, summoned things. Oh, no, he's not quite dead. He's not quite dead yet. Where's he going to spawn? That's him definitely dead now. Let's go and loot his corpse. See what goodies he had awaiting us. The Golder Amulet Fragment. Now that's another quest. So here we go. This is the bow I was talking about. I do believe the Golder Black Bow. Absorb 10 points on magic and look, we get an extra bit of good damage from it. A shit ton of uh, Nordic arrows, gold, a writ of sealing, and a bunch of iron arrows. Now I do believe the door at the back there should be open, but yeah, let's uh, let's get this bow equipped. Eh? The Golder Black Bow. Absorb 10 points of magic. Beautiful. So, each shot will be absorbing plenty of magic. Can't complain at that. We'll have that potion of the warrior. I don't think there's much else to see in this room, to be honest with you. So, we shall uh, follow this tunnel through. Yep. So, we have uh, completed the dungeon now, I do believe. This is the boss room chest thing, area. Is this a skill book? Yep. Not really interested in two-handed, but that'll be handy for anyone with two-handed. We'll have this pearl and that pearl. What we got goody-wise in here? Uh, nothing that exciting. Gold, petty soul gem. We'll have the scroll and we'll leave the leather armor because I'm not that interested in leather armor because my elven armor is currently better. And we've got a lever here. Which opens up the area where we fought the skeevers. So yeah, let us uh, head out. And that is going to be it for today's episode. So if you've enjoyed today's episode, feel free to leave us a like and a comment. If you haven't enjoyed today's episode, feel free to leave us a dislike and a comment. So yeah, thanks for tuning in guys, and we shall see you next time.